Good morning and welcome to Five Wheelchair Accessible Wildflower Hikes. Uh, this is a companion piece to the blog post uh, that was posted yesterday uh, by Candy Harrington. There'll be a link in the description of this video to the blog post if you'd like to read uh, more about it. Logan Pass is located along the Continental Divide in Glacier National Park, Montana, and it's the highest point on the Going to the Sun Road. Definitely a seasonal hike because uh, the road usually uh, opens in late June after the snow plowing is complete, but there is accessible parking on the Logan's Pass lot, and a trail begins there, uh, and you can go up through the uh, meadow there to see the wildflowers. Uh, definitely a, a summertime uh, excursion. Uh, it's quite scenic in late July. Uh, and if you want to get away from the crowds, you can go on up ahead to Lunch Creek, uh, where there's a short dirt, dirt path that leads about 50 yards to an accessible outlook. Uh, not only is the area carpeted with wildflowers in the summer, but it's a striking backdrop to Pollock Mountain visible year round. Located 12 miles east of Longmire and Mount Rainier National Park, Paradise, Washington, where the meadows simply explode with wildflower blooms for a limited amount of time each year. The peak bloom of wildflowers is heavily dependent on weather and precipitation patterns, so accurate predictions are difficult. Uh, in most years, many flowers will be blooming in mid-July, and by the 1st of August, the meadows should be very impressive. Cook's Meadow, which is uh, in Yosemite National Park, California, from the Visitor Center in Yosemite Valley, you walk towards the falls until you see the meadow on your left. You really can't miss it. Uh, then you make a left, cross over a couple streets, and follow the boardwalk across Cook's Meadow. It should be noted that in wet years, the boardwalk is subject to flooding, but it's pretty easy to spot, but you do need to be aware of that. The wildflower show starts here in mid-May with plenty of shooting stars, milkweed, western azalea, and dogwood. And you can uh, walk out on the Centennial Bridge along the way for a beautiful view of Half Dome. Uh, which uh, loop, loop back across the meadow. Cedar Breaks National Monument is a U.S. national monument located in Utah near Cedar City. Cedar Breaks is a national amphitheater stretching across three miles with a depth of 2,000 feet, and it's just awesome to see. The elevation of the rim of the amphitheater is 10,000 feet above sea level. Cedar Breaks National Monument offers a nice wheelchair accessible wildflower hike along the Sunset Trail. The trail begins at Point Supreme Overlook next to the Information Center. Uh, it's just a mile in length. The trail is lined with columbine, bluebells, paintbrush, primrose, and sunflowers, usually peaks in mid-July, uh, excuse me, mid-June. And finally is the Mono Lake Tufa State National Reserve, located near Yosemite uh, within Mono County in Eastern California. I was established in 81 by the California State Legislature to preserve the National Limestone Tufa Tower formations at Mono Lake. Uh, although it offers scenic trails and overlook, the best place to catch the wildflowers is on the State Reserve Boardwalk in Mono Lake County Park. So that's the five uh, accessible wildflower hikes that you can take this summer and totally enjoy it. Uh, of course, all of us are starving for traveling as, you know, for 
14 months now, many of us haven't traveled at all. So it's time to get back into our traveling gear and what better way than to seek, take some wildflower hikes on some of our beautiful national parks. That's going to wrap me up for today. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, appreciate if you click on the like button and we'll see you next time. I regularly post videos on all facets of the travel and cruise industry. So if you'd like to keep up with the latest in cruise ships, ports of call, cruises themselves, chilly chats, and travel and cruise industry news, just hit the little subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when a new video is up or we go live. This video was produced by Chili's Crew.